I have made over six figures with my Instagram theme pages or faceless profiles. Starting an Instagram theme page is one of the best online businesses which require nothing to start. I will be covering everything from reposting, scheduling content, common mistakes, everything you need to know. Let the journey begin. Theme pages on Instagram are anonymous profiles, often focus on niches such as motivation, fitness, food, the list goes on. Once you start posting this content, you will be generating traffic. And with this traffic, you can make money. You can find assistance with the basics such as your bio from the free ebook in my description. In terms of the content, you can post original content, repost existing content which is out there, or repurpose content. Reposting is when you get content from Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and repost it on your profile. I could take you through it, step by step. How to repost. Let's say I'm on an Instagram profile and I want to post something from here on one of my pages. Just go to a video, so let's say this one right here. So copy this link. Then go to Google and type in Instagram downloader. Let's say, let's go to the top one and you would literally just paste that into there. And as you can see now that appears and I can just press download video and I would just go onto Instagram and post it. It's that simple. Today's video is brought to you by AppSumo and they have a special offer this Black Friday for an app called Vista Social. This software allows you to manage, repost and officially organize your Instagram theme pages. All right guys, organization is key. Let me demonstrate how it works and why it's so important for those of you who are serious to use software like this. Okay, so I'm on the Vista Social dashboard now and essentially this is how it works. So the first thing we're going to do is actually try to post something. So I'm going to go to new post and as you can see, it brings this up. As you saw earlier, I downloaded my video that I wanted to repost instead of going to my phone or to Instagram on here and posting it directly. I'm going to do a bunch of them and schedule them for the week ahead. So in less than half an hour, I could schedule all of my content. So let me just show you how I would do it. First thing I would do is go to here, press upload from computer, go to this one, which is the latest one that I've done. And as you can see, it will load it. Here I can do my caption. Now, when it comes to your caption, they have an AI bot that can help you. So for example, write a caption, press generate caption and see what happens. It gives you examples of what prompts you could potentially use. But let's say I wanted to use this, I'd press use selected. Now, of course, it's important to, you know, credit whoever created this. So I essentially would go back to the profile, just copy that go back to Vista Social, but essentially before that, I'd be like, follow us for more. Then I need to do my hashtags. So I would go to the hashtags right here and you can have saved hashtags. You can do hashtag suggestions. So I'm going to type in food, press suggest, and it will generate some hashtags and tell me whether it's worth using or not. Remember, I only recommend using three to seven hashtags and making it relevant to whatever you're uploading. So as you can see here down in the bottom, you can press schedule. So once I've created my content, I'd simply go to next. All of these softwares always make sure that you are crediting people properly, but you can just skip this part. So I would go to my calendar on weekly now, and you can literally play around with when you want to post it. You could just kind of do this for each day. So if you want to post three times a day, you can schedule it for three times a day. And as you can see, you know, I've done this in the past and it works so well. It makes everything so much more efficient. On top of scheduling and organizing all of your content, it also allows you to apply to comments, look at your inbox, 
And for me, one of the most important things of using software like this is actually the analytics that it gives you. So as you can see right here, I could run a report and just see how my page is currently performing. This is a new page, so you need to bear with the stats, but you know, it will give me a good insight into how the pages are performing, where I can improve, etc. And it also tells me where a lot of my interactions are coming from, you know, different hashtags. Guys, using a scheduling software is extremely useful. AppSumo is offering a lifetime access to Vista Social, which means you only need to pay once for this offer, but this offer will only last 12 days. But do not worry, if you are watching this at a later date, I will have a link in my description to this and other good software definitely take a look at AppSumo. Let's jump into the next part of the video. All this, this whole build up was leading to this next part. How do we actually find where to source our content? Well, this section is all about that. Now, the first thing you need to do is find five top performing accounts in your niche. Choose a mixed bag of accounts. So some that are over 1 million and some that are over 50,000. You need to look for accounts that have good engagement. You simply go onto their reels, for example, and look through their numbers. So if they are often getting over 100,000, sometimes dip just below 100,000, then their average is 100,000. So if you see something that is like 200,000, 300,000 plus, that's an outlier. And what you want to do is start saving that content. Now imagine once you've saved 50 from five different profiles, that's over 250 posts, meaning that you have a good supply to get started, to schedule and to work with. And you know that this content has succeeded in the past. Now, another strategy is on a new account, train your explore page to feed you content, which is the best performing in your niche. Remember, we are building a business. So following friends, liking personal things, following your favorite celebrities is not the best strategy. You need to, from the get go, start to like stuff on the explore page, which is relevant to your niche. And then of course, you can save any of that content, repost it, repurpose it, simply from going onto your explore page. Thank me later. How many times a day should we post? Now, obviously, if you're reposting, then you can post more than someone who is creating original content or potentially repurposing. If you're reposting, I recommend around three times a day. And once you start getting momentum, over 50, 100K followers, you can increase this up to potentially six times a day. Now, if you're creating original content or repurposing content, and it takes more time for you to generate this content, what I would do is change your strategy. In terms of thinking, oh, I need to post every day, think about quality. It's better to have three posts which get over 10,000 likes then 10 posts which get 100 likes each. What I would recommend is just creating a schedule that works for you, which is at least three posts per week. If you can get to a point where you're posting six times a week or every day or twice a day, then obviously that's the goal. Well, here is how not to do it. Here are some common mistakes you need to avoid as a beginner or on a fresh account. Deleting content, stop this. If a piece of content is not performing well or you've made a mistake, instead archive it. But honestly, if you are in a position where you are just not happy with how it's performed, what you should do is take that energy onto your next post. See where you went wrong, but move on. My mom always said, you got to put the past behind you before you can move on. The next thing is abusing the unfollowing and following method. What you need to do is stop focusing on using this method to grow your account. If you want to start doing unfollowing and following, I would recommend doing maybe like 20 at a time, maybe three, two times a day, very minimal. It's not something that you can abuse and go hard in because you will get action blocked and essentially you will be damaging your account. Guys, it's only something just to get that initial spark. Don't rely on it. 
Now, this is one of my pet peeves and something that I see so, so many times, and that is trying to make money too quickly. Listen to this. People dislike being sold to, but like making purchases. Many pages, you know, once they hit 100 followers, 500 followers, 1,000 followers, think, okay, it's time to make money. There's a 1,000 people here. If I sell to one of them or to 10 of them, I can start generating money. Remember, you are most likely competing with accounts which have far bigger amounts of followers. When someone goes onto your profile, they make a decision. Am I going to follow this page or not? And until you are at a point where you have a good amount of followers, you need to show them, I'm going to give you all of this value. That's why you need to follow me. Once you start putting links saying, do this, do that, do this, buy this, you're just deterring people from following you and you're definitely affecting your follow through ratio. A large page can get away with this as they have already gone through the phase of building an audience and providing value. They would have never got followers if they don't provide value. So at the beginning, avoid selling too hard. Be patient and concentrate on growing your audience. Trust me, when the time is right, you will know. Here's what I want you to do when you start. Do not put it in your bio first off. The first things you need to start doing is promoting whatever you're selling in your stories. And instead of just putting story selling, every time you sell something on your story, before it, add a value-based piece of content. So add a funny video, add a meme, add anything. This will increase how many views you'll get, but again, balance that value. Then add it to your captions, and eventually, once you get to a point, you can add it to the link in your bio. Be smart with how you monetize. Obviously, the goal is to make money, but the goal is to make a lot of money, not a few bucks at a few hundred followers. You have to be smart to get what you want. What type of account should you create at the start on your theme page? One of the most common questions I get asked. So we can have a personal account, a business account, a creator account. From my experience, creating so many different accounts, there is not much difference. There is not one which is going to make you perform or grow quicker. The difference simply is, is as a creator or a business profile, you get access to more analytics. But honestly, something that I think people should do more is stay personal for longer. Once you start diving into the analytics on a small scale, to me is just a waste of time. What you should do is keep your account personal until you get to maybe five, 10,000 followers. And in that period, simply analyze your performance through likes, shares, comments. Those simple pointers will be enough to whether something is performing well or not. Just simply focus on creating new content and improving it. Guys, if you want to learn how to create a six-figure theme page business, I have a whole playlist on my channel which is available for free about theme pages, monetization, how to grow, how to research. Make sure you check it out. My name is Alex and today we're about to grow.